In this example, we're asked to write an equation of the line satisfying the following conditions. Write your answer in standard form. So the conditions are to write a line through the point negative 3 comma 11 and 4 negative 17. Now recall from our lectures in class that the two things that you need in order to write a line, you need to know the slope and you need a point. Well, we're given two points, and that's fine. Uh, but what we don't know is we don't know the slope. However, we can use the information we've been given to find the slope. Recall, you can find the slope when given two points by plugging it into the slope formula, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So let's go ahead and plug those values into the slope formula. Remember, double negatives becomes positives. If the signs are the same, keep the sign and add the numbers. That's going to give us negative 28 over positive 7. And that simplifies to simply negative 4. So our slope is negative 4. So now that we know the slope, we're ready to plug our slope as well as our point into the formula to write our line. So remember I said from the beginning that the two things that you need to write a line, you need to know the slope and you need a point. Only one point. Now we were given two. We don't need two. We can't plug in two. We can only plug in one. So for the sake of this video, I am going to choose to plug in the first point, but just want you to know that yes, you could have plugged it at the second point in as well and it would work fine as well, but you can only plug in one point. So let's proceed. Whether you're using the y equals mx plus b formula or the point slope formula, you have to use one or the order in order to uh, write your line. So I'm going to use both just in case you prefer the y equals mx plus b or if you want uh, that may prefer the point slope form. So let's start with the y equals mx plus b form. So here I'm going to remove this y and replace it with our given value that we're using of y, which is 11. I'm going to remove m and replace it with the slope that we just found, which is negative 4. I'm going to remove x and replace it with our given value of x, which is negative 3. So when I do that, it's going to look like so. Negative 4 times negative 3 equals positive 12. Last step to solving for b is to subtract 12 from each side and b equals negative 1. So when we put our line together, our line is y equals, we were already told that the slope is negative uh, 4 from our math that we did when we plugged it into the slope formula. So y equals negative 4x. And we just found out that b is negative 1. That always goes in the back of slope. And so that is what we call slope intercept form. Now we are asked to write this in standard form. So to write it in standard form, all we need to do is just do one step and that's move this negative 4x over. Because recall, standard form is where x is first, then y, and then the constant is by itself on the other side. So by adding 4x to each side, we now have it in standard form. Let's take a look at the other formula for those of you who prefer the point-slope form. So recall with this, you're never going to plug anything into the x and the y by themselves. You're going to plug into the subpoints, so x sub 1 and y sub 1 are where you're going to plug in your x and y values that you're given. And then for m, of course, here is where you're going to plug in your slope. So let's go ahead and plug in those values. It's going to look like so. Remember, double negatives become positives. We're going to apply the distributive property on the right side. That's negative 4 times x and then negative 4 times positive 3. Lastly, we're going to add 11 to each side and notice we have the same answer as we did using the y equals mx plus b 
And then all we need to do is, again, to get it in standard form, is to simply add 4x to each side. And we have our line, which is 4x plus y equals negative 1.